That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Y'all should know that by now. <laughs> Do blind people have heightened senses? I'm going to answer that question to the best of my ability. But check this out. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment. Now, you may not do it in that order, but do it regardless. This video was inspired by a young lady by the name of Christine. She has a YouTube channel entitled The Blind Pomegranate Terrio. Not only does she focus on this particular topic, but she also reads cards and uh, shows you ways that you can tap into your sixth sense, which is your intuition. But in the meantime, in this video, I am going to answer to the best of my ability, as I mentioned, the age-old question, do blind people have heightened senses? Now, don't y'all go nowhere because this is an educational channel now, you know, and you're going to learn something, but it's also entertainment. So, definitely stick around for the duration. Now, by definition, heightened means to make stronger. Now, losing one sense does not make the other senses stronger, in my opinion. As far as someone who is blind, like moi, I'd say this has forced me to concentrate on my other senses more than I would have had I not been blind. That's all it does. I have to concentrate on that. Now, I'm not a betting man, but if I were, I would say... <laughs> This applies across the board to other individuals who are visually impaired and who may be uh, hearing impaired as well. So, in short, I believe when you lose one sense, the others don't naturally become uh, uh, heightened or stronger. It's just that you concentrate on the others more. Now, for those who didn't hear me, I, I will repeat it. It's just that you, when you lose one sense, the others don't naturally become heightened or stronger. It's just that you, you, you concentrate on the other senses more so. Now, I'm also of the opinion that if someone has lost one of their senses, time, you hear me? Time will allow them to develop the ability to become more aware of the other senses. You know what I'm saying? Time, only time, and I'll explain later on thereby this will force you to concentrate or rely on these other senses that's why um, I, I'm not of the opinion that if you tell someone to uh, hey if you want to you know they, well they, they they may ask how does, how is it like to be vision impaired what, what do you what do you feel some people may say well look cover your eyes co co cover your ears if you're hearing impaired and uh, tell me what you experience well to me, I don't think they actually ex get the full potential of what's to be expected because that's only temporary. So they know that they're not visually impaired. Then they're, they're not hearing impaired. But someone like myself or someone who may have lost their sight earlier in life and, and, and later on in life as well, realize that, hey, I've gone blind. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hearing impaired. This is going to be my life. I have to do this. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, just experience it temporarily. You have to uh, now find ways to cope with life and, and focus and continue. Because you know that this is how you either lay down or die, quote, you know, just figure of speech. But you have to make a, a, a way in order to, to continue. So, in conclusion, losing one sense, in my best opinion, hmm, doesn't make the other stronger. It's about relying, focusing, and concentrating on those other four senses to help you continue 
to sub, to um, strive in today's uh, society. Thank you all. So now, I hope you have a sense of clarity uh, of, of what I had brought to you and you no longer ask that question, do blind people have heightened sense? No. Bye. <laughs>